You deserve your real estate real fast. Let's get after it, y'all. I've been looking at my old book here. Uh, time flies when you're having fun. And I'm looking at January of 21, March of 21, January of 22, March of 22, uh, February. Don't forget February. <laughs> we're in the month right now. And, you know, we're just seeing listings and sales. Listings and sales were up in the high 200s, low 200s at times. Uh, of properties that we're listing every week and closing every week. Make no mistake, we are down. We are so down. We are down like 46% across Georgia here. It's just around that same number, somewhere around half, close to half. You know, we're seeing right now an average of 111 properties uh, being closed on per week and you know, around 200 per week uh, listed. So I should tell you some things, right? But then we have, and this is important, our inventory. It's been low. It's been low for years, for multiple reasons. Um, we're down to 1,299 active properties on our MLS, uh, which has continued to fall since it started climbing back in August. Pending sales have doubled in the last month. That would suggest some crazy activity. Um, so we'll see about that. You know, we're starting to see these listings and sales climb back just a little bit. They're a little higher every week, um, which the pending sale number should suggest they do. But, you know, um, so it's a, it's a confusing mark. It really is. Like I said, uh, the time is to buy or sell when it's right for you. I get a little aggressive. Got a little aggressive last week. I apologize. Um, but it's right for you when it's right for you. If you're convinced the market's going to crash, no one here can tell you that it will with absolute certainty, and you shouldn't listen to that. But you should also not listen to someone telling you the market is going to go absolutely bananas and you're going to make 40% return on your primary residential real estate over the next two years. Nobody saw that coming in 2019, and if you bought a house in 2019, congratulations. Um, that was a good decision, uh, but I want to take a wild guess and think you did not think it was a great decision or that great of a decision at the time. So y'all, pending sales are up. Listings, increasing. Closings, increasing, but still low, still very low compared to last year, this time last year. Uh, and inventory continuing to fall a little by little every day. Median sales price, that real quick, we'll talk about that. Median sales price, you go back to August, we're, we're right at 265,000 this past week. We're around the 250, 260,000 mark, um, which your home equity, your home value across the area, the median sales price has kind of floundered. It's been pretty stable, not really increasing, not really decreasing. Um, so that's gonna be our key marker right now. That's what I like to think of, uh, of how healthy the market is, is that median sales price. If that starts tanking, woo buddy. But if it starts increasing, woo buddy, right? So um, y'all have a great weekend. Enjoy yourself, be safe, celebrate responsibly. Um, I will see y'all. No, we got one more week in February. So <laughs> see you next week. Take care.